Oh my goodness. You know how many times I load this game up, get into the world, and then I realize my audio settings are not correct. And so I have to exit all the way out, change them on my desktop, and then reload Minecraft entirely. Such a pain, but it's being fixed in 118 and I can't be more excited. But anyways, welcome on back to another episode of Brew and Build Brewberries. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a wonderful day. I have done absolutely nothing between episodes as per usual. That seems to be the theme going forward. But uh, yeah, so I haven't done any extra stuff because I have some things I want to do for this episode that require us to go find resources and do some stuff. So today we're going to get into things right now because uh, we got quite a few things to do. So last episode we built, uh, where's my boat? Well, I have the foggiest idea where my boat is, so we're going to view it from out here, unless the boat's just floating out here. Mm, nope, guess not. But last episode, we made this here dock, and I got to say, the more I look at it, the more I love it. The view you can get from right around here is so great. I love it. Then imagine a giant thing right here a big windmill and then potentially another big building in the background or even more buildings just on that hill so you can get even more of this like white cycladic architecture style oh man it's gonna look so so good but i have some things that i would like to do so we've been working in the past episodes on this this area here and so we made this area down here once we get the conduit that's the word i kept trying to find last episode but i couldn't uh we've got this pathway down here that leads all the way down to the the ocean floor and the whole concept is that we're going to be connecting up this island to this island via an underwater sort of pathway in part of the town and i really do like that concept but i've kind of come to a, a decision that i think is going to be for the betterment of of this area i think it's just going to be, be better um and it's also going to be better for my my uh what 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 I heard a sound. I don't know what it was, but I think it's going to be, be be better for this town. I got a sneeze. Man, my body is trolling me today. I had to sneeze. I just recorded Guild Wars 2 and I had to sneeze. Couldn't sneeze. The sneeze came back just now for this intro clip. And oh, I see you drowned. You think that I don't see you, but I do. We're going to hit him like that. Oh, OK, there we go. I'm not very good in this this camera mode, uh, but any hoozle. I have a new concept that I would like to do for this. I really wish I had my boat and I don't know where it is, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to connect up the docks like this. Uh, similar to that side, it's going to go just right down here. And then uh, in the rest of today's episode, we're going to be working on a few different things. One of which is going to be the cliff sides for this area. And uh, I guess before I get into that, let me finish my first thought because, you know, I, I know I can get like down multiple sidetracked thought processes and it's just the flaw of my brain. It just like one thought leads to the next and none of them make sense when they're combined together. But that's OK. That's just me. That's why you watch me, right? You're just like uh, you're just like, man, this dude has no concept of how to string two thoughts together without getting sidetracked. <laughs> But the whole like th lore original concept that was going to be is like this was a part of a town then they had a lower section of the town and this was another town. And so it was like two kind of maybe mountaintops or something that they were going to be a part of. And it was all going to be like the same town. And I really still like that concept of both of these being connected. But the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I really don't think that it makes a whole lot of uh, sense in terms of enjoyment of the game for me to continue a whole another town over here that maybe is yes a little bit of a spin off of this but the architecture style would be pretty much the same i think i personally will just plain get bored and so i don't want to do that and 118 is going to be coming around right roughly my plan is with the new plan going forward is this island will hopefully be done by the time 118 rolls around. So this entire town, underwater section and all, will be finished. So that means we gotta get going on some of this stuff. And I'm really excited about it because we this that side actually really doesn't have that much more. We need to finish the building that's gonna go right over on this side, and then we need to finish the windmill and the Parthenon, and then those back like house building things, and then do some of the cluttering design stuff. And then of course, like, uh, you know, make it so the island connects to the ground. Other than that, that's really all that we truly have to do. 
Um, and it's really just like a, a, then it'll be like a nice fleshed out town section. So then hopefully that can happen in the next couple of episodes. We can finish this section off of the town and move to the underwater and make the connection down there. Now that, because it's underwater, I want to make it a little more sparse. Um, and the reason why is I want this to be like the main section of town. That's like the commerce side of things, the more bustling city area. Um, and then down in this area is when you start like spreading out to get into the quote unquote crop farm area and like the farming section when it was a underwater, not an underwater town, if that makes sense. So this is going to be a little bit easier to build and it's going to incorporate some buildings and stuff, but it's not going to be insane and they're not going to be like huge. And what I'd like to do is make some of the old like fields of wheat and beetroot and all that stuff i want to make all those fields exist but then i want them to be like transitioned over into being kelp fields and so that's going to be like the main thing that we're going to do for this area and then we're going to have a kelp farm that is actually going to be right or not necessarily a farm but it's going to be like dried kelp a dry kelp building station thingy on this section that's where the where the old wheat field was going to go that's what's going to go here and i think that's going to make a lot more sense and so that's why they they pivoted over to this and so to connect these towns up, we're going to have this prismarine path that comes all the way up and all that jazz. And then this island I've decided is going to be like the crop center for all the other original crops. And so it's going to be kind of like Machu Picchu type of thing where uh, you have like these cliffside types of crops. Um, and so this is going to be a little bit more of an elevated uh, area where it's going to be similar to how this goes up and up and up and has like a couple like a lower section a middle section and upper section and then a way high section it's gonna be similar in this so they're gonna kind of mirror each other but this is gonna be all totally just like staggered terraces of crops and i think it's gonna be really cool because it's gonna be in this style it's gonna look very tied together to this um and then we're gonna have kind of like a buoy road system that is gonna maybe even be a floating bridge as well to be able to cross on it um, that you can on a calm day which is every day in minecraft but on a calm day you could like cross the sea over to this section because it's not like actually crazy far um, but on a rougher seas day you could be, you could then go underwater and cross that way because that maybe the underwater section with the conduits is a little calmer i don't know that's kind of what i'm thinking this is not going to be necessarily a higher tech version of the town. And that's primarily because I think by the time we got to doing this, 118 would be close and I would be tired of building in this. I'm already getting, I'm not tired of building in this. I really like this uh, this style, but I know by the time 118 will come out, I will be ready to move on. And I want this to be very complete. I don't want to deal with town of more type of stuff we did in season one, where it's like only partially complete. And so that's uh, that's why we're going to do this plan going forward. This is still going to be very much a custom island and all that custom landscape and stuff. What in the what hit your friend, you jerk? Oh, my gosh, there's so many. Oh, my. So many. of you. Yeah, yeah. Hit him. Yeah. Yeah. You want some of this? Do you really want some of this? You have no idea who you picked a fight with. I have so much more stuff than you. Oh, there's a baby. Oh, there's my boat. So what are we doing today? Well, we need to go get coral. That is a thing that we're doing, number one. Going to find coral, mining up some coral, and then I also am gonna install the data pack to convert the coral fans or whatever, the coral fans or whatever the growths are on them into coral blocks. I think that will be good uh, and just make it so it's a little bit easier to farm coral and all that and we don't necessarily have to destroy an entire coral reef i will destroy some of it today but not bad um so we're gonna find coral so we can finish the flooring out here and get the transitioning of andesite and all that done uh, and then the rest of today what i'd like to do is to flesh this darn island out make it connected to at least the ocean and then we can thereafter kind of go down. So this is all gonna be custom landscape all the way down. It's gonna be kind of sheer cliffs. Um, and it may just end up being just stone for right now. And we'll come back and do, do the texturation, but we have a lot of stone. We have a beacon set up so I can get plenty, plenty more of stone. We have a farm to be able to get XP. And so I think we can get this done. It really is, it's a fair amount, but it's uh, after looking at like mumbo jumbo's base and stuff, it's really not that much. So I think it's totally doable. I think we can get it done. I want to get this entire island connected to the ground 
and I think it's going to be great. So let's go find a coral reef so we can at least get some coral fans and stuff going. And let's get to working on the island and getting it connected to at least the ocean. So it looks like it's connected. And then, uh, you know what? We can probably go all the way with this. You know what really rubs me the wrong way? Well, it's not necessarily that it rubs me the wrong way. It's that I spent time making a coral farm right there. There it is. I wanted to put something here that makes sense. fits with the area and is useful. And uh, yeah, you can't make coral farms outside of warm ocean biomes. I had no concept of this. And so I made it full farm all ready to go. You know, I was just going to do it. It was very simple storage, automatic, beautiful, glorious coral farm. And uh, it's absolutely worthless. The build's not done, obviously. I used only polished diorite, but yeah, it. Uh, I was going to do this and uh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, well, me there. I don't, it, this is all it does. It just grows seagrass. Absolutely nothing. I can't do this anymore. So we're just going to ignore that. Um, this was going to be just a fun thing to do on the side for me that um, I'm not tearing this down. I'm This build is staying. So we are going to either have a seagrass farm just here for fun, because why not? Or we're going to change it to like a kelp farm or something like that. I honestly do not know. But I am tired of this. I am. Now that I have learned that this is absolutely useless and I spent like an hour making it. I'm just upset. So let's move on from this project. <laughs> and let's go and actually do a good amount of stuff today. So let's go. I'm going to do some resource gathering. We're going to do a nice resource gathering time lapse. And I think I want to talk to you during it. I haven't done a talky time lapse in a little bit. So we're going to do a resource gathering time lapse and then probably going to do a big old time lapse about the you doing the cliffs around the whole entire island. I think that's what we're going to do because we certainly are not going to be doing uh, the transition here. I may. I have some. I want to use brain coral. And so I may do some brain coraling over here. But we're just going to have to go and tear that coral reef down that I was at. That's not what I wanted to do. But I am not building a farm again. So let's go and relax and do some resource gathering. All right, guys. So for this time lapse, I thought I'd talk to you just a little bit about Copper Island. I know I talked a little bit uh, near the, the beginning of the episode and all that, but I wanted I had another idea, another revelation that I thought I would uh, share with you. And um, so I thought this time lapse would be a great place to do that instead of rambling at you by walking around aimlessly. So I, I know like the whole Copper Island changing aspect is really just supposed to be because I want to make sure that we're ready to go when 118 drops because I have some really cool ideas and plans for that. And I really I want to experience 118 like out of the gate. I don't want to be deal dealing with like trying to wrap this place up. So because of that, I, that's why the plans are changing. But I, have, I think I have some really cool ideas going for it. So the whole concept of having the crops and stuff on that on that uh, sort of mountaintop area, that island, I think is going to be a really awesome concept because I think what we're going to what I'm going to do is actually build up like an old monastery. Like a, it's not going to be crazy big or anything, but like it, a, an old monastery type of feel to where they've converted a monastery mountaintop to being this their uh, above water, I guess, crop fields, because we'll have underwater crop fields that are growing seaweed, kelp, etc., coral. But I wanted to do some above ground crops because that was a part of the original plan of having some wheat fields on this particular island, but I didn't think it fit that well. And so I think that island being crop oriented will be actually really great and can also then 
showcase a little bit of how they get around with like Frostwalker and stuff or why they would even have paths underwater and keep the civilization going underwater as well. Um, just to like maintain like they've adapted and, and made their town even better than what it once was before the whole flooding of everything. So I think it's a really it's a cool concept. So I was really excited about the monastery aspect. I wanted to give essentially a point to why there would be a connection from this island to the other. And originally it was going to be like it was one big town and then kind of got separated by the water. And now I'm kind of coming back to it and thinking, well, if we're not going to do a town, what is a way to connect it up? And I think that monastery is like a way of being like, we can tie in this like monk aspect of people like further away from the town, they're a little further off, and we don't have to do a ton of builds for it. We can just simply do the one monastery and then we can do crop fields all around it and we can even get some terracing and stuff going on if we really want to. Um, and so I think it's a, it's a good tie-in. I think it's gonna be a really good way of going about it. Uh, and I think it'll be a really cool build nonetheless. I think anything we do over there is really just kind of like icing on the cake at that point because this island's like definitely the main thing. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just really, I think it's a great, great thing going forward. Let me know your thoughts in the, in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, let's just jump back in because this time lapse done and I don't want to have to keep up a libin. Alrighty. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I know it was not anything particularly insane in terms of builds, but I'm quite happy actually with how the island's turning out. I've done an overshot of kind of how the feel of it is uh, now that we have the cliffs in and it's actually feeling pretty good i think we are officially semi-connected to the ground and i think that's a really awesome thing i mean just looking over here having the the i added some grass and stuff on all the way around to about that building and it really helps make the build feel just that much better and so i'm gonna slowly over the next couple weeks be filling in the rest of the stone that goes down to the bottom or connects up to the sand or something like that um, and so what i'll probably do is like that sand that's in line with the stone i will most likely remove and then build up some sand or stone around it so that it blends in a little bit better but at some point, I will also probably just not care that much because it is underwater. Um, so I'm not going to try and do it as perfectly as possible. I don't really want to like make it an insane uh, type of thing. And so eventually we will get around to doing the texture variation like we have over here. Um, but for now, it's just going to be stone <laughs> and uh, the text variation will take a little bit of time i'll need to make some more scaffolding uh, to make it work but i also have found that i i think doing this along the bottom is really all that needs to be done uh, i don't think i'm going to do it throughout the entirety of it because i think adding some grass in at the top area will add a good amount of detail without having to do a ton of work and that's what i found when doing terraforming and big cliffs and things like this is like you can do texture variation, but it's almost more of a pain than it's worth in some cases. And so I think you just doing it sparingly is is a, a thing that you should uh, maybe consider. But here are the cliffs. They're looking pretty darn good. Added a little bit of a divot there to make a, a just a little cave. Oh, I think a guardian may be trying to shoot us. Please don't shoot us. Um, and so this is what the, the cliffs are looking like. Of course, I only went down to the water line just because I knew I was going to run out of stone, but we managed to make it all the way. And so there's some oddities like bleh, that guy. Um, but for the most part, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, there is actually plenty. Let's uh, get off the boat here for a sec. And uh, there is a little a good amount of space i'll also do this at some point i don't really know maybe at the beginning of next episode i'll transition this to a kelp farm i'm just annoyed at the fact that i didn't even read oh also i did this <laughs> i didn't i forgot that that, that this is uh, something that I, I did off camera um i was going to include it in the time lapse but then i was starting to run out of hard drive space so then i decided not to um, but this is what the uh those back buildings are going to be like so i wanted it to feel like you could really see it 
from back there and so i thought that was going to be a nice addition so there's even one further back there that's a small guy uh, that is pretty darn tall and so it's going to be interesting i haven't even viewed it from this side i don't really know if you can see that much of it uh but yeah you can start seeing like there's a little bit there's i think some of these are going to be dome tops that we still have to do but it's going to start adding more depth to this and yeah 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 you can uh start seeing like exactly what it's going to feel like so it's going to feel a bit more like that area will feel a bit more like the uh, road over there and i think it's going to be really nice this is going to be a pain in the but took us to do because uh well it's a diagonal house and diagonal houses are always a pain but that's okay so uh, yeah there's going to be houses here and uh, these ones are are a little even simpler than uh, these guys they're pretty simple shapes and they're really tall so i'm kind of thinking there's going to be a lot uh these are going to be like the the rich person houses to where they're much bigger they're still skinny but they're a little bit wider and they are a lot taller and so they have multiple floors and we probably shouldn't do ladders instead of stairs because stairs will just take up a lot of room slowly but surely the town is coming together this is just uh because we already did all of this i'm just gonna do this in snippets as well and so slowly the town will finish out strong and so i think Next episode, we will work on finishing up this potentially or getting into the windmill. I'm not really sure. Maybe planning out the windmill would be good uh, because I, I there's definitely going to need to be some resource gathering for that. And so we may prep for that. Uh, and in the meantime, also prep for that because I need to get a good amount of quartz. Uh, but I was coming up here to show you the underside is uh, pretty expansive uh, there's quite a bit of underside caviness here it's all nice and lit up too think i'm glad i had the wherewithal to actually like think to light it up but we've got a cool little area here and so the reason i did this little inlet is i'm i'm kind of thinking when i actually like fully remove that scaffolding i'm thinking about putting a door somewhere around here so that we can easily oh it was right here thinking about putting a door right here and nope you're not stone there we go right here and then uh that's kind of where i'm thinking uh we'll be able to just easily sneak in if we want to go down and mine without having to drop all the way down and i'm also going to try to figure out how to may use leaves and stuff to keep the beacon where it's at just because i like being able to mine underneath it or we may move it to better match somewhere uh but yeah i think uh it's gonna definitely have to do it for this episode because uh i cannot deal with uh this anymore i deal with it i'm having a good time but i am just i'm i'm running late honestly uh this video is, is gonna be late i'm gonna try and get it out on this on the day that's supposed to be out but life happened on monday and uh things are just uh busy this week and so i'm trying to uh kind of play catch up a little bit but the good news is all the other videos are recorded so i guess that's good just minecraft that always seems to take the hit because it just takes longer to do these um so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you uh, did leave a like in real life and look forward to the next couple of episodes because we're going to get into the cooler bigger builds that we've been kind of gearing up for and i'm i'm really excited about it. i think it's going to be good i think they're going to start really fleshing this area out uh, so in between episodes i am going to be working on finishing the cliffs off a bit finishing those back buildings decorating them out a bit and then uh, we'll get into the the final bits of the top portion of the island so we can start building underwater and i hope you guys are looking forward to that and so yeah if you like the video leave a like in real life and i'll see you guys in the next episode uh, uh, bye, -bye.